All right, here's a new one that I stumbled on. I was working on another project that called for a Halifax sensor. It was a levitation device, and uh, I was having a lot of trouble with it, so I had to order another part. But anyway, I came up with this. It's a Hall Effect uh, spinner that uh, uses the Hall Effect like a reed switch and then tells this transistor to turn on when the south pole of the magnet goes by the Hall effect, which turns on the electromagnet, which spins the magnet around, and every time that collapses, it shoots a spike of energy through an LED into a, a charge source, a cap or a battery, and it, um, it runs. I was real surprised how it worked. Now, I, this is the setup right here, and I'm asking Maggie to help me. Maggie's my little uh, induction uh, thing that I came up with. I named her Maggie because she works with magnets. And how she works is it's a coil of wire um, with a bridge rectifier in the back that when uh, she gets near a spinning magnet, her eyes light up. And what I'm doing is I'm having her hold the Hall Effect sensor, which is right there. It's a little tiny thing. And uh, this is the Neo magnet that I'm going to spin up on that little mirror there. And this is just a coil of wire that's uh, not a bifile or anything. It's just a coil of wire. It's about 500 feet of 30 gauge uh, magnet wire. And it goes into this little circuit right here. And I'm going to run this on just capacitors, no batteries, just to show you how this works. Uh, it's a super capacitor. It's a 10 farad, 2.3 volt uh, super cap. And it's loaded up uh, with... Um, Oh, hard to see this here. Really hard to see this. That's, uh, wow. That's 2.29, 2.27 volts right there. And then over here is the, um, the charge point, which right now is a little capacitor. It's a 35 volt, 100 uh, microfarad cap that I have shorted out. And the back EMF spike is going to run through that LED back into the, um, the positive side which basically feeds back into here so it's a closed loop system. This is my amp meter and my amp draw and I've got a line drawn right there at 5 milliamps. That's how little this thing draws. And then let's see if I can get her to go here. And Maggie, you ready? Okay, I want you to hold on to your little sensor for me. Don't move it, okay? Alright, here we go. This should make your eyes light up. There we go. You like that, huh? <laughs> All right. Okay, now the LED right here is lit light up real bright, too. And this is um, the back EMF spike from that coil. When that coil collapses, every time Maggie's little uh, um, Hall Effect sensor turns on and turns off, uh, it turns on and off that coil, which makes this back spike, which... Uh, runs through that LED and back to the uh, capacitor. There's a voltage on the cap right now. And um, that'll go down, but it'll go down pretty darn slow. And it'll oscillate a little bit too. And I'm going to undo the capacitor now. I'm going to show you the climb on the charge cap on the back end. And there goes the capacitor on the back end. You notice that climbs up higher than the voltage on the source. And that's how you tell if you're actually getting this thing to do what it's supposed to do. Is you, you look for voltages on a capacitor that are higher than the source voltage. And that's when you, you can tell if uh, your circuit is working. And I do recommend uh, all the guys doing this, use capacitors. Don't try to use batteries because they lie to you. And get yourself a couple of these super caps like this. They're five bucks or something and shop around for it and then you can really tell what's going on and there's my amp draw right now it's fluctuating about four or five milliamps and that's it I can turn this down to where it's just about nothing you see that needle go down there now this is still running that LED is on real real dim I'll turn it back up bright you'll see it go bright it'll make it go down dim again and then I'll make it go almost off. It's off. Okay, that's where she's running right there. And you can see that's about uh, two and a half, three milliamps is all. And there's my um, 
cap voltage. Like I say, it fluctuates around. It doesn't go down very fast at that low amp draw. And uh, Maggie likes it. She makes her eyes light up. So she did a, a good job today. Anyway, this is this Hall effect sensor circuit. Now, I'll see if I can pan it slow. It's using a PNP transistor, not an NPN. It's a 2N3906 PNP Gitterman Radio Shack. A white LED. And it's supposed to light up at 3 volts, but of course it lights up on this. Any sort of a 2 or 3 volt charge and a 2 or 3 volt source, and this works just fine. Uh, the Hall effect sensor, I got this at uh, Mouser, and uh, just get one that goes uh, goes off at about 2 or 3 volts on up, and um, should work just fine. And that's just 30 gauge wire, about 500 feet, and that's just one of these uh, wire cores. But anyway, that's, that's like I say, that's my little project that I came up with. I was trying to make this... Uh, a levitator thing and it didn't uh, didn't work out very well I don't have the right parts for it so I did this and I like this this is quite neat it's kind of a neat neat deal here another way to do something that I'd never thought of before thanks for watching